Welcome Trojans, it's Mr. Gardner, your principal at Auburn High School, with the first of five videos to start preparing us for returning to school the week of April 19th. And this is the first of five videos. This video is gonna be all about entering school and how we should be preparing to do that. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we do have a goal. And our goal is AHS staff and students um, will go home healthy, and that means every single day. So what we're going to lay out in this video are, are the plans we have for entering school, and the videos that come after that will kind of take you from that point going forward. So one of the things you're going to hear a lot around school is a mantra we're going to use a lot. It's called safety over convenience. I want to make sure that people understand we have some new practices around our school, practices that are totally designed to keep us safe and to go home healthy every single day. If you were to go to that link at the bottom of the screen, which is also uh, in the email that we sent this video in, um, you're going to be able to find out a little bit more about school attendance, why it's important to attend, uh, contact information for our attendance office and so forth. So we're going to really have a great fourth quarter and the school on a really strong note. And let's go ahead and get started. Um, a little bit more general information, staff and students are expected who are coming to the building to do their self-screen daily before they enter the building. Make this part of your daily routine to help keep you and others safe. This also helps keep our family safe when all of us return home. There are two links, and I'd really, if you don't know how to do the screen on your phone or on your Chromebook, definitely take a look at uh, the English or the Spanish version, and uh, that'll give you some guidance on that. Um, when we talk about COVID safety, you're going to hear us use terms like check-in, wellness check, screening, and basically what this is, is something called an attestation. You're attesting that everything about you is healthy. Um, we know there's a series of uh, symptoms and also a series of possible contacts, um, and, and what it looks like on your phone or on your Chromebook is very similar to this. It's basically they're broken down into two questions. We're looking for people um, to enter the building who've basically said no to both. So one has to do with symptoms, one has to do with situations. If you answer yes to either, we would expect you to stay home that day, uh, contact the school. If you have any questions about the following day you can come to school, um, you can definitely ask one of our people in the attendance office and they can patch you through to a school nurse or to an administrator. Um, you're gonna see these signs all around the building when you come in, it's just a reminder that, hey, if you're not feeling well, you can go home, okay? And at home, you can get on your Chromebook. You all know how to do distance learning, and you would just tap into your teachers that way for that day. So let's really play it safe. Um, another thing we really want to um, emphasize, if at all possible, if you could walk to school and walk home, if you're in walking distance, um, that's just a, a safer way than, than getting into cars. Um, that's just more of a general instruction. Um, if you're taking the bus, want to make sure you're social distancing at your bus stops. Uh, you're wearing masks. Um, and when definitely when you get on the bus, follow the lead of the bus driver. Another thing you'll see is these reminder signs around the building before you enter is make sure you've done your wellness check. Okay, uh, once you're at school, we're only going to have two main entrances, okay? So just know that. And if you aren't quite sure where these are at, um, hang in there and I'm going to show you. Next thing that's important for you to know is two main entry doors will be open at 9.20 to 9.35 a.m. Our first buses are supposed to roll in right at 9.20, and I think they're done by 9.25. If you're walking to school, if you're being dropped off, if you're driving yourself to school, it's the same thing. We're not opening any doors until 9.20. For our students in our SLC or TAP programs, you will receive a video from Mrs. Grimm for your entry protocols. And if you are a parent of an SLC or TAP student, please be sure to contact the school, the attendance office, at the phone number or at the email the same day. So that way we can work with our transportation department to let them know um, what their adjustments might have to be for that day. And again, for SLC and TAP, there's no early drop-offs. It's all going to be between 920 and 935. As you come to school, think about the following. You want to have your mask on, your nose, nose and mouth are covered, wellness screening's been taken care of. Just know there's two entrances with checkpoints before school. You go to the one that's most uh, appropriate for you or convenient for you. 
I uh, want you to take care of your daily wellness check. And if you haven't done that, uh, we're not gonna make you go home. We'll do it right there at the school at one of our uh, check-in stations. It's mandatory. Masks on until you leave campus for the day. Okay, the first entrance that we have available is the West Courtyard. The second one is the North Gym Foyer. Those are the two main for the building. SLC and TAP, you'll be a little bit different, so stay tuned, wait for Mrs. Grimm's uh, video. Um, anything after 935, it's all gonna take place on Main Street at our main entrance. Students will enter the attendance office, do your screening there, or show proof that you've done your screening, and we'll get you to class as soon as we can. So you might be coming back after a dental appointment or um, a family event or something. If you're showing up 9.35 or after, you're gonna go to the front of the school on, on the south end of the school. If you drove to school and you got to park in the north lot, you're gonna to have to walk around, okay? Because the building's gonna be basically locked down, okay? Once the school day starts. Uh, if you're entering from the west courtyard, you're probably riding a bus. You could be walking from the south or the west. Uh, maybe even the East, um, or you're being dropped off on Main Street. We have two places we want parents or family members to drop off. One is on the South on Main Street, and I'll get to the next one here in a few minutes. So you can see the pictures right there. Um, we definitely want you dropped off at the front of the school on the front sidewalk. Um, if you're closest, if you're one, I mean, if you're the only car there, we want you to pull forward uh, behind that fire hydrant towards our reader board, if you can see the little arrow right there and when people are kind of feeling behind you, just get off on the curb. And we want people to walk around to the west side of the building. West side is towards the elementary school. And then you'll walk along the sidewalk there and you'll enter through the black gates. They will all be open in the morning until 9.35. From there, you're gonna enter the west courtyard entrance. If you're coming um, to school, uh, make sure you've done your screening, like I said, on your phone. Um, and in either case, whether you have or haven't, you're gonna enter the right doors right there through the commons. You're not gonna enter to the left. Those are gonna be locked. You're not gonna be able to walk in that way. Those are just exits at the end of the day or for during lunch for students that are gonna eat outdoors. Okay, so we're always gonna enter the right. If you haven't taken care of your screening on your phone or on your Chromebook, can't show that to us, we'll do an attestation. We'll do a temperature check uh, in the morning. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, if you're entering from the north parking lot, you're probably a student driver. Um, you could be walking from that side or you could be dropped off in the PAC loop, which I'll show you a picture here. So the top left-hand side, that's where we'd want parents or friends dropping you off. Um, once you're entering from that location there, um, I guess that would be the most western side. Um, as you're facing the baseball fields in the pack, you drop off in this loop and you just drive out the other side and just hit the road from there. You also could drop off on the, on, the, on the sidewalk cross street from the stadium, but this gets you a little bit closer to school. Um, the other thing is the only doors that are gonna be open are the ones that face directly north towards the stadium. And it's the same concept, you, you enter on the right hand side and we'll do the attestation there if we need to, if you've done it on your phone or you can show us on your Chromebook for that day, uh, you'll be able to get through a little bit sooner. Okay, after 9.35, like I said, you, you got to go through the main doors in the front office or uh, the attendance office. Students enter and check in through the attendance office. The next video will show you which each of the, each of the processes are. Okay, any other door on our campus is not considered an entry, okay? At any time of the day, um, afternoon, evening, okay? Doors will remain closed until 2.45. Um, and they're gonna remain locked. So understand that that's, these are not entrances. That's uh, one of the wing doors. Um, I'm talking about the doors down by the metal shop, um, down by the automotives. Those are doors we do not enter during the school day. Those are tights. Um, if students are caught doing that, um, we're gonna end up contacting parents, having some long conversations about safety, and let's just avoid that. Let's just do the right thing and uh, make sure we're adhering to these protocols. Okay, you're gonna see signs all around the building, especially where you're entering the school. It's gonna remind you to make sure, stay home if you're sick, uh, wear a mask, maintain social distancing. We're gonna do that all day long. Um, we need to wash our hands and sanitize. Before we enter classrooms, we're gonna sanitize. Uh, cover your cough and sneeze, try to get away from people, look the other way, cover with your elbow if possible. 
and let's all play a part in keeping our school safe. Uh, you're always going to see a lot of reminders about wearing your masks. I know people are not supposed to touch our masks. I know that's hard to do, but we always got to make sure our nose, our mouths, and our masks, our masks are going below our chin. Okay, um, just in review to make sure we're doing this, we're being together, daily Skyward Wellness screening and entry checks. Um, follow all, all COVID-19 procedures in the building. Uh, respect, you do your part for your safety. You do your part for the safety of others. And that's really what this is about because everybody has a right to go home safe. Uh, from an organized standpoint, you want to enter the school only through a designated entrance. There's two, and then there's only one after 935. If you're a bus rider being dropped off, or if you're a walker, you can use the West Courtyard Commons. Um, if you're a student driver or you're being dropped off, or if you're a walker, you're gonna go through the North Gym foyer entrance. If you're SLC or TAP, you're gonna wait for Mrs. Grimm's email, I'm sorry, the video to let you know what's going on. Main entry after 935, okay? And you'll go through the attendance office. Um, how is this about you? We're all responsible for safety and we expect everybody to do your part in cleaning up your areas after use using AHS COVID-19 safety materials and methods. We're gonna show you more about that later on a later slide video. Um, but that kind of wraps this up. All the videos we're gonna remind you on making sure we play it safe. Anytime you're experiencing any of the symptoms associated with COVID-19, it's better to get checked. Ask your teacher, ask an adult to go see our health tech or nurse in the counseling office. You're going to need to enter the back door to the counseling center. We will have signage. I'll give you a lot more detail on this on the very last video. And then you'll be receiving that on Friday the 16th or maybe, yeah, or maybe right before spring break, okay? All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks for listening. There's four more of these to go. Thank you.